If you've been experiencing any sort of foot or shin pain, chances are your calves are tight and you're in need of a little bit of foam rolling. When the lower leg muscles get tight, they pull on those areas and create a lot of problems in our lives. That's why consistency with foam rolling and self-massage can help you recover from injuries and prevent pain from occurring. Incorporate this 10 minute calf and shin foam rolling routine into your weekly schedule at least two to three times per week to see big benefits. By spending time massaging and releasing the calf area, you'll have better ankle movement and this will allow the ankle to do its job when you're running, jumping, skipping, walking, or doing my videos. Trust me, you will not regret taking a little bit of time for some lower leg TLC. Your body will thank you and you'll be able to stay active. If we haven't met yet, hi. I'm Caroline Jordan, your certified health and fitness coach, and in this video, I'm going to show you simple calf and foam rolling techniques you can use to relieve tightness in your muscles. Use this foam rolling video often to help treat chronic tightness and discomfort in your calves, shins, ankles, and feet. You will need a foam roller to perform this video routine. You can get my preferred brand by clicking in the link in the description box below. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for so much more feel good fitness content. And please consider supporting this work by becoming a channel Patreon member so that I can continue to create content for you that helps you stay active. Patreon links are included in the description box below and it would mean the world to have you by my side in sharing my message of movement as medicine with the world. With all that being said, break out your foam roller and meet me on your mat for this 10 minute foam rolling routine for your calves, shins, and feel good fitness for life. All right, my friend, are you ready to get rolling? Meet me on your mat with your foam roller and let's do this. So bring your roller onto the floor horizontally and sit right behind it. I'd like you to start with both of your legs on top of the roller, hands behind you. Lift your hips up and you're just going to gently roll your body forward and back. Now this is the pretty tame version, but if you feel a lot of intensity doing this, I want you to stay here. Meet your body where it's at today. If you're looking for a little more heat in this foam rolling routine, I want you to take one leg and stack it on top of the other. From here, you'll move the leg side to side using the top leg to put a little more pressure on the bottom leg that you're foam rolling. I want you to shift your leg side to side as you move your body forward and back. And to give the upper body a little bit of a break, what I like to do is keep my bottom on the floor and move right to left as I slowly inch my way forward and back. There's really no wrong way to foam roll. So don't put pressure on yourself to do it perfectly. You can't go wrong here. Just breathe and try to find the tight spots in your body and let those go. So working on one side will allow you the opportunity to get a little deeper into the tissues. And if you'd like to, once you find a hot spot, you can add some ankle circles or do a little swish, swishy swish side to side. Notice if you feel a little more tension closer towards the ankle, or if you feel a little more tension closer towards the knee. Wherever you are, keep breathing. And anytime you need to, you can shake out the upper body because you will feel it a little bit. <laughs> You're using your arms and your abs to support you as you roll. Good. If you're doing one side, I'll tell you when to switch sides. But if you're doing both legs at the same time, keep going and keep breathing. If you have any upper body things going on, you can always lay all the way down on the floor and do the lazy lady calf massage. So if you're working one side, I want you to switch sides and try the same technique. So a little bit of a swish side to side as you work your body forward and back. 
It's really nice once you find one space to just give some ankle circles or pointing and flexing the foot. I call this pin and stretch. Make sure you spend time at the whole length of the calf. So close to the Achilles, right in the middle, and then right behind the knee. You don't wanna go directly behind it, but just below it is perfect. If you're recovering from an injury or doing this to prevent injury, I am so proud of you for taking this time for a little lower body TLC. The calves can be such a problem area for so many people, and we're making sure that your calves are happy campers. So wherever you are, give yourself a few more rolls on this second side, and if you're doing both, keep breathing. The next calf roll routine technique is a little bit more for your shins. So you're going to move over onto your knees, You'll take one shin on top of the roller at an angle, at a diagonal. The other leg will stack behind you. And you'll take your hands in front of you. From here, you'll slowly move forward and back. Now, this might be very intense if you're newer to foam rolling. So if it's too much to do one on top of the other, you can always try both nice and gentle and use more of your upper body to help support your body weight as opposed to placing more body weight onto the foam roller. I personally love this technique. It's helped me a lot with some shin splints from doing exercises on pavement. Mm, not the best surface. Now let's try switching sides. So remember the shin will go at an angle at a diagonal and the other leg will stack on top of it kind of like fire logs crisscrossed. And you'll move the body forward and back as you breathe. Don't forget that oxygen releases tension. And the more you can breathe, the better off you'll be from this routine. Some foam rolling tools like the stick are also great for shin rolling. So you could always invest in getting a stick on Amazon and doing a little shin rolling that way as well if this technique is not really working for you. But I encourage you to try. Foam rolling never feels good right out of the gate, but it should provide relief, release, and ease in your body after the fact. Sometimes you have to do hard things to feel good. All right, relax. We're going to come off and now we're using our body to foam roll our calves. So what you'll do is you're going to bring your forearms on the mat like you're going to do a plank. Shift your body forward, take one knee, you'll place it in your calf muscle, and then you'll sit your hips back. So your knee is providing pressure into your calf. Ooh, do you feel that? Yeah, you'll shift forward and back, and move the knee up and down on the calf muscle to release tension. So now you're doing kind of your own version of self-myofascial release. You're being your own masseuse. If you find a particularly tight spot, you can bend and extend your back leg to knead that muscle. This is one of my favorite calf foam rolling techniques. It has done such a world of wonders for me. And I do this almost every day to relieve my calves and my ankles and my shins. You can move up and down the leg with the massaging knee and breathe. Nice and gentle. If you've never met this technique, you're welcome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Comment below and let me know if you try this and you're like mind blown by how effective it is at really letting go of those tight, tense calf muscles. Let's 
switch sides. So you're going to place your knees down the floor. You'll shift your body forward. The opposite knee goes in the meat of the calf muscle. You sit your hips back to apply pressure and you can either hold or you can straighten and bend the leg to dig into that tissue. Moving up and down. Trying to relax as you inflict your own pain. <laughs> it's pain on purpose. Pain on purpose to make you feel better in life and in exercise. Keep breathing. You're going to comment below and tell me how you feel after this, right? And how happy your feet are because you've been releasing, relieving your calves of their tightness. Mm, so good. Ooh, I feel it. <laughs> Try not to cry. <laughs> Tears of calf joy. Good. Hopefully after this you have something relaxing planned. <laughs> Not just for your body, but for your brain. All right, maybe one more pass. And relax. From here, let's stretch the calves. So we'll do a downward facing dog, taking the hands at the top of the mat, tucking your toes, lifting your hips, and just letting yourself stretch into this big V position. You can walk gently through the calves, through the feet, and just notice if you feel any length or difference in the backs of the legs. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Let any remaining tension go. And say thank you, calves, for the gift of walking me through life. I'm so grateful for you. From here, slowly bend the knees, come down to the mat, and notice how you feel. That, my friend, was your 10-minute calf and shin foam rolling routine. And I hope you and your calves benefit from this little time of TLC. Make sure you comment below and let me know how you feel after trying this video. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more feel good fitness to help you stay active and healthy for life. Thanks so much for being here. Please support this work on Patreon. Links are in the description box below. And I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.